So I'll just <clears throat> oh, do this by hand. So I grab some used magnets. Tiny neodymium ones. Oh. So I'm just gonna dump glue on these pieces. Maybe I'll use a stick. The coffee is ready, but there's no time right now. So grab a magnet. Oh, Jesus. Huh. Uh-oh. Let's glue down straight away. That's nice. So this is harder than I thought it would be. We'll leave that to dry for now. So we got two pieces. And then the foam. So the foam will be sitting here. Way too thick. But I don't think it's squished enough. <laughs> if it ever will be, by the way. I don't think... By the looks of it, the foam is doing its job and it like bounces back exactly to the size it was let me take a look yeah it's around six i believe nothing changed so that's a problem i cannot get this thinner i don't know how might have an idea with heat but that might not work either. I'll just gonna use this. I got plenty of those, uh, of those foils, so if this is a complete fill then, then well, it's fine with me. Oh, what I could do is like stretch it a little bit. It becomes thinner. Ever so slightly. Probably not, it's not the solution, but... Clearly it's too big. Um, normally I probably would add like felt on top of the magnets and put it underneath this foam, but for now I'll just leave all of that. I can remove these foam pads if I want to. It's really fluffy.
Hmm. So this line will line up with this part here, and then it's straight. Then the contact points will be here. So I might need to do it like this because of the light. It's coming from uh, here. So I might need to do it like this. Poor table. Maybe I'll grab a cutting mat. I got cutting mat somewhere. reason is uh, these holes needs to they need to line up so should be able to not sure if this is visible line it up here damn again against the wrong way of the lighting should have do should have done it like this more like this so you can probably see what I'm doing sort of like this, but then also in the middle. Sort of. Not completely, I must admit. And I'm gonna remove this tape on the back. Use this to stretch in. Ah, and don't dump it on there yet. exactly what I didn't want. It's not perfectly in the middle. But it's not rubbing. hard part so I need to like push them through without destroying the membrane so I either poke a hole might be a dumb decision
every time when I do this, I think, mm, I'm not sure if this is the best method. I think they became a little bit too thick. So if I got my other spacer, The blobs are in the way, so I need to make some room here. I'll just drill it out real quick, see if that helps. Make them even bigger. I need to put some glue in here or something to hold this whole part. That's nice, that's okay. That's cool. So, here goes nothing. Do I have Nuts ready? No. Cool. 1.3. So if nothing is broken, that's good. Now I wonder, since I cannot see how the foam is sitting here, it might be like, you know, completely out of balance, sticking to one side more than the other, who knows. But this should be make, it, make sound at least. So this is the uh, other option without corrugating it and see if that works. So I'll attach here a piece of tape. And here. I'll just slightly stretch it. Like this on the table. There's the hair here. Then I'll just dump this on. Hopefully correct. Then I know that the coil is peeping out here because normally it was designed to be corrugated so it becomes smaller. 
So I cannot just like shoop, slit it because then I'll cut the coil. I can't slit it here. Poor table, sorry. Here I have to be a little bit more delicate. So you can see the coil is going past the frame. Now this looks terrible. So my only hope is that it works with the foam on both sides like they do in some infinity tweeters or mid ranges, I don't know what they are. But... Might be a complete fail. But first I have to once more glue magnets to pieces of steel. I'll do that off camera because I did it once and it's exactly the same. So because I don't want to swap the membranes, I rather make two tweeters that have a different co configuration since I got the metal. So why not? It's new puss. She's called Stinky. Too bad. But someday, I hope, <laughs> she will react to puss. Because now the combination is kind of weird. Stinky puss. Ooh. But she's still a bit, a bit, a little bit scared. So. You probably see more of her, but not for now. <laughs> 